This is an XAR video demonstrating how to replace the piston ring on this Wabco compressor. On our website you'll find more information about the models affected and also how to remove the compressor from those vehicles. Now, it's a very common problem on these vehicles that the piston ring inside the compressor wears down reducing output. This could cause a number of suspension faults and errors. We will now guide you through the process of how to replace this piston ring and how to resolve these problems. Here you will see what you will receive in our repair kit. This includes a replacement piston ring made from improved materials designed to last longer than the original, replacement bolts for the compressor, um, two O-rings. Um, your compressor may use the older style or the newer style, we include both. And also some cable ties to assist with refitting the compressor. Um, you'll just need very basic tools for this repair, including a T30 torque to remove the old head bolts and a 5mm Allen key to fit our new bolts. It's also worthwhile using a bit of Loctite on these bolts. We can now start the repair of the compressor. First off, it's worthwhile cleaning the outside of the compressor to stop any dust or debris entering the chamber. Remove the two top bolts using a T30 Torx. Um, these can sometimes be a bit tough to remove. These are aftermarket bolts. Um, it might be maybe worthwhile putting a bit of WD-40 on the threads and allowing to set to ease off these bolts. On some compressors, you will find a temperature sensor under this bolt. Just remember that for reinstallation. You can now lift off the head. You can see the O-ring inside here. Um, you can also see the affected piston ring. We can now go about replacing the piston ring. Look at the old piston ring. You'll see the way the ring fits around the tying pin, it spins and won't go any further, you can also compress it like this. Just remember that when fitting the new ring, it needs to be installed in exactly the same way. Just check it, so the movement around the tying pin, that's okay, and it compresses, so that's all fitted correctly. You can now refit the head, it's worthwhile cleaning up the mating surfaces. Refit the head. Feel the piston going into the cylinder. Replace the bolts of our new bolts. It's worthwhile putting a bit of lock size on these bolts. Also remembering, as said earlier, if you remove the temperature sensor, one of these bolts to reinstall that. After carrying out this repair, it's worthwhile testing the compressor on the bench to make sure it's all running correctly and that the output has improved. Um, to do this, there's two wires coming from the compressor, a brown and a red and white. The red and white, you disconnect this to the positive terminal of a 12 volt car battery, the brown wire to the negative terminal of a car battery. This will allow the compressor to run constant and you can check the output. Thank you for watching this XAR video. If you have any questions about this or any other issues, please contact us on 01843 446643 or you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk. Thank you.